Hi, my name is Jason Patterson and I'm an SC with Arista Networks. I'd like to show you a brief demonstration of a feature we call LANS, or Latency Analyzer. I'll begin by walking you through the topology, software tools used, the Arista switch configuration, and last but not least, I'll discuss the various forms of alerting and monitoring used to consume the event data. I'll then demonstrate a few of those. The simple topology consists of two switches. They are interconnected by a single link, which will represent a simplistic fabric between the switches for the purposes of this demo. We'll have two clients. Client 1 will be connecting to Server 1, running iPerf, which will create a connection over a TCP socket and push the maximum amount of bandwidth the link will allow. Client 2 will connect to Server 2 and will be running CrystalMark, which will simulate heavy IP storage traffic also using TCP over the connection. As you can see, both streams or flows from client 1 to server 1, as well as client 2 to server 2, will need to traverse the switch interconnect that represents the fabric. This is where we'll have LANs enabled and will be the focus of our configuration and alerting. Here are our two clients. We're going to start with the client on the bottom, which was client 2 running crystal disk mark. This will simulate IP storage traffic over the network. We'll kick off this test suite here, and this will generate about 800, 850 megabits per second. If you remember, the inner switch link between the two switches was just one gig, so this should be saturated at about 85%, which should be enough to generate a LANs event. So let's give it a second here. There we go. We have ourselves a LANs event. So we can see with about 80 to 85% of link utilization with the bursty nature of TCP traffic, that was enough to employ the buffers and kick off a latency analyzer event. Up here, we can see that there are no interface discards, which would be expected at 80 to 85% of link utilization. Let's kick off some more traffic with iPerf. There we go, this will indiscriminately blast the pipe with as much traffic as it can push through, and we should see some discards at this point. And there we go, we do see additional discards. I've stopped the automatic updates, and now let's break down what some of this information means. So this is the output from show queue monitor length, and off to the left-hand side here, I'll see a flag either S, U, or E. And so this is the start of a LANs event, an update, which is periodic throughout the LANs event and the end of the event. You'll see that we've got a timestamp. We've got the interface for which the LANs event was seen on. In addition to the interface, we see the traffic class or queue for that event. So this is recorded not only per interface, but actual per queue. There are eight queues per interface. So you can see here we have a start event, Ethernet 24 which was using traffic class zero. Now I had iPerf and the IP storage application using different traffic classes. So you see both traffic class zero and traffic class one, a start event for each of those on ethernet 24. Up top here, you see the end events. We have additional information that's included in the end event. You can see that we have the congestion duration in microseconds from the beginning to the end of the event. We have the queue length segments that's included in all of the updates, including the start and the end. And then the time of max queue length relative to congestion start. Here we have the transmit latency that indicates the amount of time that a segment takes to clear the buffer. And if we head back up top here, let's take a look at the number of discards seen on the physical interface and the traffic class on that interface. And you can see that we have the same level of granularity in microseconds as the other show commands. And to wrap up, let's quickly run through the LANs alerting options. CLI, which we've already taken a look at, although we didn't get to all the options. There's syslog, which is pretty straightforward. Streaming, which is the latest edition and by far the coolest, We'll take a quick peek at what this looks like in CVP telemetry. Export to CSV so that you can create standard reports. And lastly, AEM or Advanced Event Manager, where we can do things like trigger sending an email based on a LANs event. Yep, we can email right from the switch. Here we will be streaming the LANs events off box to our CVP, Cloud Vision Portal Telemetry Viewer application, which is what you see here. Off to the side, I'll kick off the same applications used previously, only this time we'll also leverage CVP as our alerting and event correlation tool. In a nutshell, what's happening is that, as the LANs agent aboard the switch generates data, it streams that to CVP in near real time. 
CVP will then present this telemetry information in a graphical representation, not only giving us the same data as collected by our show commands, but also providing an alerting mechanism as well as keeping a historical record so that we can leverage this as forensic data at some point in the future. But what's really powerful here is that CVP will present the LANs information along with other corresponding telemetry data, which enables the network operator to correlate events. Here we can see a CVP event was generated when the buffer's high threshold was breached. We can immediately see any drops or discards, the occupancy or queue length, as well as the induced latency through the buffer. I can slide left to right and scrutinize these events with near real-time precision and zoom in on any window of interest to quickly create a more granular graphical representation of the data. Below you can see that I can call up related information and easily click on any of these shortcuts to see a quick glimpse of what the baseline may have been a few hours ago ago, a day ago, or a week ago. What's equally important are the times when you don't see LANs congestion events and other network faults visible in real time with CVP, allowing you to see with absolute certainty and clarity that the cause of the issue is or is not the network. Thank you for watching and for more information come see us at www.arista.com. Thank you.